Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vince Rockstar and this is Daily Rambles. Um, I actually took a couple days off, so sorry about that. But anyway, we are back and we're doing Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3, Episode 17, called Guest Starring John Noble. So we start off with Amaya's gone. Um, the team figured it out that she took the jump ship back to Zimbazi. And then Ripunda calls in and calls about Grodd trying to take out uh, Barack Obama. So um, he's after the young Obama, and then we cut to Nora is cracking even more, and Miles is always free. And but see, Grodd uh, got stopped by the legends, and Miles goes back into Nora. And then Damon Dark is starting to have doubts now, and technically he says, like, I'm going to check on Grodd and figure out why he didn't do what he did. But um, he secretly asked the legends for help. And then Ray shrunk Grodd. And so now they have him like a, like a little thing inside a plastic jar. And then we have Nate and Wally talk to Maya. Uh, Beckons and Basie before the attack and stuff happens. And then she tells them to back off. Then Dar and then like I said, Dart asks for the legends for help. Then uh, so uh, so Sarah performs a ritual to encase um, Dark, so that way he won't use his powers and stuff, which they didn't do properly. And as a symbol of a token, a literal token, Dark gets in the water totem and fixes the ritual, and it now works, so he can't use his powers. And then, um, as for the help, Sarah refuses to help. And then we cut to older Amaya, talks to the village. Um, she wants to pass the tone to her daughter. I think her name is Essie. I might be wrong. Please correct me down in the comment section down below. And then um, she doesn't show up. And so um, then we have Legends of Amaya. Uh, um, is trying to figure out what happened. She wants the daughter to bond with it. So the whole reason why the village fails because... The mom refuses to do the uh, totem passing, and so that's why it fell. She had time to bond with it. So then we cut to uh, Nate is fine with it, and while he's like not really okay with it because he's very he's lived through, you know, Barry's um, flashpoint and doesn't want to do it again. Was well, uh, something of that caliber. Then we cut to where Sarah is doubting herself. Then, um, so she's getting like really no answers to anybody. So, what she did, she goes talks to the young Obama about her issues. And when they're done talking, she kind of zaps his memory. So, he doesn't remember any of it. And then, so then Sarah goes back to the Wave Rider and she agrees to help Dark. And then we have Ray has an idea to shrink down into Nora's ear. And have Miles' voice uh, tell them to go on the Rave Rider and trap her. And the entire team is on board with it. <laughs> weird, weird plan, but they do it. And then, so, they're going to use John Noble's voice to do it. So, Ray goes back to 1999 where the shooting Lord of the Rings, because that's what we got a deer from. It's from Mick watching Lord of the Rings. And it sounds a lot like now it's John Noble in that scene. So they run lines. So Ray goes to run lines with him. So he's recording it while he's doing that. And then we have Legend of Maya talks to Essie, Beckins, and Daisy and gives her encouragement. And then we have uh, Wally threats to stop Nate. Then Nate is stealing the totem badly. He trips and falls, making a sound. And then when he gets close to it, she wakes up and attacks him. And then um, she doesn't remember him. And she he shows her his phone. And so they talk. And then we cut to where Nora is, is really mad at Dark. Then Ray gets in her ear, and it works. <laughs> It's just weird to me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so they get back to the Wave Rider, they trap her, 
and then Nart tried then Nora then Dart tried to get to Nora, but it was no use. Moss is pretty much taken over. And and then we have Ava confronts Rip, and it turns out she is the twelfth Ava. They keep saying that she's special, so that means they think she's like the original. And she kind of gets really mad and storms off. And then we have Sarah and Dart talk, and they're trying to humanize Dark a little bit, and you know, trying to make us feel sympathy for him, which kind of works in this case. It's everything that's happening, so. It was a nice little touching moment, but Sarah's still kind of pissed and leaves, obviously. And then we cut to where Amaya and Nate talk, and then Wally tells the team about what happened. And then Zari struck out because she was trying to find loopholes at the very beginning to see what would happen if the village did live or did not get destroyed, and she couldn't she couldn't find one. And then. Sarah has a crazy idea just to let it happen and for Miles to break out and since they have all six totems to defeat Miles once and for all. And so uh, Dart volunteers to, to use the death totem and Sarah lets them have it. And Ava is not having any of this. She literally storms off and so Sarah goes after her and she they tell, try to get her to understand what's happening and she's just like she's pretty much lost everything and the only thing that's left to her is her rules so that's what she's sticking by but then Sarah said well you got me and kisses her and says I love you which I don't think she's ever said to anybody period and then we have um so Ava goes she I feel, I feel like she feels the same way, but she's so caught up in her stuff, she just kind of blows her off and leaves anyway. It's just that the Town Bureau is not helping you out on this. And then we cut to the Legends are in some Basie. So Nate gets the Earth Totem and Ray gets the Water Totem after bickering between the two. Then Dark sees Nora and it's, um, she says she's still fighting through the Death Totem. So we cut to the village. is uh, going to be destroyed by Grodd because Dark let him out. And then we have um, SC versus Grodd. Then Nate is after Grodd. Then Dark versus Legends. And then SC versus Grodd again with Old Maya coming in to help. Then when she gets struck out of the way, Nate uses the Earth Tone to rescue them and sends Grodd flying. And then Mollus gets free. And it, he looks wow. Insane. But actually good graphic, so good job graphic department. <laughs> um so that's in the episode. I'll I'll give this a B plus. Some of the some of these plans are so like That was literally the only probably glaring thing that stood out to me was the plans. Anyway, um, overall I thought it was a pretty decent episode. I like, I did enjoy watching it, and I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next week. And, and it got renewed for four seasons, so how awesome is that? Along with everything else got renewed. I might do a separate video on that. Anyway, I think that's one for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and tell me what you think of the episode. And also, if you want to leave suggestions, please also let me know now. Let me know down there in the comment section <laughs> what you want me to uh, react to. Um, I am knocking out the movies for Marvel and other types of stuff that's happening. So anyway, I want this one come out when it comes out. <laughs> but anyway, if you have any suggestions for any movies, TV shows, or music, just let me know down below and then subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.